Hi, Gareth from Court Monkeys here, and today we are on the Crown Princess. And I'm right now down in the piazza on deck five. And we're just going to take a stroll around here. And we're going to start by going down to deck four. Signs pointing you to the medical center and people waiting for it. So we're in port today, so they don't open until eight. Um, but there it is. Of course, this is where we get on and off the ship, one of the places. That's, that's crew area. Same with there. Let's go back up. I'm not sure why those people were waiting down there. Um, it's only 6.30, so maybe they have plans. So we're back up on Plaza Deck 5. This is where we began in there. Um, this is the port side of the ship, the left side. Forward is there, aft is there, and this is one of the dining rooms, the Michelangelo dining room. And we're going to see if we can get in there and just take a quick look around while they prepare for the day. Hi. And I'm going to actually walk from port to starboard to the right side of the ship see if I can find my way out. Uh, I'm not going out that way. So, <laughs> there you have it. Michelangelo dining room. They have three main dining rooms. Michelangelo, Botticelli, and Da Vinci. So this is on deck five. So there's the Michelangelo dining room. We just walked in. We're on plaza deck five, port side, heading forward. This is good spirits at sea. There, see, Michelangelo. This is the midship elevators. This is Good Spirits at Sea, International Cafe, and him. The food here is complimentary, and it changes throughout the day. The coffee, though, and drinks are not complimentary. Remember that. Here's the piazza again. This is where we began, right there. Let's take a quick spin, heading forward still. This is the art gallery. And they're not having an art show today, I suppose, because we're in port. We're going to be in the port of Icy Strait Point in an hour or so. I just wanted to show you there are cabins up here. Deck 5, they're outside cabins, windows. And a lot of them. On both sides of Plaza Deck 5. More art too. We're gonna go back out this way. Um, like I said, it's only 6.30, well 6.45 now. And uh, the ship is waking up. <laughs> More so, I guess, because we're in port. I normally do these on a sea day. So I see less people. This is Vines Wine Bar. And I learned recently on a cruise that Vines has food too, which I didn't know. But just a limited amount. But if you have the premier package, it pays for the food. So we're on the starboard side now, heading aft again. And this is the future cruise area. It's also got computers, like an internet cafe. Um, I don't think they're exclusively for future crews, but that's the office, and there's a couple people working here every day. They have hours. And then if we come over here, it's called Escapes, Future Crews Escapes. You have the Internet Center. Not cafe, but center. That's the first time I've seen a sign that said center on it instead of cafe. Now, they've removed every other computer. You know, this is... A holdover from COVID and I'm guessing they'll they're never putting them back out but who knows right well that's it for Plaza Deck 5 one more look at the piazza together as we welcome the talented crown princess singers and dancers here we go Thank you. 
going to go up to six now and I'm going to use the stairs midship stairs which are right around the corner here and it may look so we were just right there in the Michelangelo dining room I guess I could have got through we came up the stairs Fiesta deck six see that starboard side so the right side of the ship again and this is the da Vinci dining room and we're kind of going in the back door this is where the reserve people have breakfast, so they're getting ready for them. But as you can see, it's just like the Michelangelo down below. And I'm not gonna walk through it. Um, if you have the reserve collection, you know, which used to be club class, then you get fancier napkins and tablecloths and rolls. <laughs> uh, I guess you get other things too. But anyway, and you get a secret entrance. Let's head forward. So we're back out into the piazza. And this is Calypso Cove. Now, Calypso Cove sells Princess logo stuff. Um, usually they sell the things you didn't bring, you forgot, you know? And they do have a lot of sales and uh, stuff marked down. And I guess it goes on and on, so maybe there's there should be a rack of like uh, aspirin and stuff like that. Calypso Cove. Busy today, so they have liquor, and they have liquor, and they have six for four hundred and thirty-two dollars. So here's the stuff you might have forgot in Calypso Cove. I just don't know if I need it. Let's say you needed some okay. sunscreen. Well, that's only going to set you back $11. Acid reducer, $10. Calamine lotion? No price. Toothbrush? Oh, yeah, $3. Okay. Let's go over here. Okay. Cigarettes. Buy three, get four free. I have no idea how much they are. And they are unmarked. You should quit anyway. It also has this stuff. So we've got some Alaska souvenirs, Hubbard Glacier t shirt. Catch can. T shirts are eight bucks. Keychains. That. Stuffies. Jacket, 59. Boats and captains. Captains and boats. A fancy water bottle will set you back $23. All prices U.S. <laughs> I know. Coffee mug. Let me have that for $18. Uh, still Calypso Cove, so there's still a chance. Got liquor. Make you some video. That brings us to Gatsby's Casino. And the weird thing about Gatsby's... I, for, let me start off. Gatsby's is a nice casino. It's nice and big, but I mean, on most ships, there would be slot machines right here where I'm standing and right over there. You know, there wouldn't be all this wide open spaces. Their machines are a little bit old, 
let's say. They do have craps, blackjack. I think there's a roulette wheel over there where we're headed. Well, headed in a minute. We're still walking forward. And forward on deck six, right outside Gatsby's is a ladies restroom. And we are also right outside the Princess Theater, which we're gonna go in. But first, let's check out the conference center. It has ping pong tables on this side. There's two of these, one on the other side of the ship. There it says Princess Theater. And uh, we had a comedian juggler magician combo last night and he called Janet and I up on stage so we helped him perform his act. Of course nobody was recording it, <laughs> nobody that I know, but here's the Princess Theater and boy they're playing tequila really loud in here. So we're just gonna take a quick run through. We'll be back. We're going to come in there on deck seven also. You can enter from port and starboard, deck six and deck seven. Deck six, as you saw, brings me to the floor. Right? Princess Theater. Now over on this side, or port side, there is a conference center. Which is the Alaska HQ. We're on an Alaska cruise, just so you know. And so they have it all geared up for Alaska. Wait a minute. Just so you know, it says selfie station. So we are pose in front of this. Uh, one of their signs came down. I'm gonna fix that. At some point, and there, it's by port, at some point, oh, they put it all away, they're gonna have puppies in the piazza. I don't know what that is, I've never experienced that. So hopefully I can record it for you. Let's go. Princess Theater behind us, forward stairs and elevators, Gatsby's Casino again. Um, and the slot machines are closed because we're going to be in port in an hour or so. Uh, I mentioned roulette. There's two roulette tables here. There's also an electronic poker table, if you know what those are. That's the only kind of poker they have on the ship. And I believe they only use it for tournaments, but they have them every day. Right? Now, over here, so we're still in the casino. Over here is the Speakeasy Cigar Lounge. Hi. And they got that fan running non-stop. And you can buy cigars. I don't know how, and I don't know how much. So we're leaving the casino. That's be speakeasy. Gatsby Casino. Brings us to the shore excursion desk. So you can book your shore excursions here. You can also book them on the TV in your room or on the app. And we're back out in the piazza now. Let's this is Meridian Bay, and they sell, well, they sell purses, obviously, right? So, Meridian Bay. Clothes, purses, jewelry. Let's see if I can get around. Lots of jewelry. Even more jewelry. And then purses again. And that's the doors to the Da Vinci and we went in on the other side. We're on the port side now. We went in on starboard. So let's walk back here real quick to the piazza so you can get a good look. So there's the piazza again. We started right down there. And we're going to go up there next. But this is guest services. In the piazza, deck six. And this is the service desk. Now it's 8.30 in the morning on a sea day. Can you see that line? So, get here early. I walked back around to the elevators. The stairs are right through that door. I did notice one thing about deck six. There was guest services. That's where we just left. 
and that's of course the piazza. There are no bars on deck six, except maybe the casino. So let's go up to seven. Now, we're on the Crown Princess, as I said, and it was built in 2006, so it's re relatively old, let's say. Um, holds a little over 3,000 passengers in double occupancy. On our cruise, I think there's 2,900, and there's like 15 children. So we're up to Promenade Deck 7, and this is where they put these. These are the things you get when you come to a port for the first time, your maiden port call. And here's the officers. So, and Gary Golding, he's a cruise director. We first met him when he was just, uh, just joined Princess. So we're gonna go around here and you should know that that's clicking. So this is the back door, you might say, to the Explorer's Lounge. We're gonna come back around to it in a few minutes, but you should know that this is as far as you can get on the port side, on the left side of deck seven. That's as far as you can go. And for some reason, they have the doors closed here. But we're gonna go around this way. So now we are up on deck seven, looking down at the piazza, right? We started right down there in that circle like I do all my videos. Um, we're gonna go around here to the port side. There was the pictures of the officers. We met a few of them. Um, and yes, Daniel bought me this shirt. Crooner's Bar. So you promenade deck seven, port side. You are here. You are where? Do you see that? I'm there in the elevators, but where on there am I? Shouldn't there be a dot there? That's right. Cruiser's Bar, Promenade Deck 7. And it's a nice big bar. Guy plays the piano there every night, like they do on all the Princess ships. It's got its bar. It is a bar after all, Cruiser's Bar. We're gonna walk through. There's the piazza. There's somebody on the glass elevator. Do you know that on a ship, all the elevators face forward, except maybe the glass ones or the ones that face sideways. But so this is the library. And you can send wake show messages. Uh, you can pick up a daily Sudoku, crossword puzzle, a word game, and a book. Or a uh, game. So there were more books here when we first got on the ship, but you know, people, people are picking them up. Well, they have the Watchtower. And the Book of Mormon is over there. So just take them, leave them there. When you're done, you can write Gary or the, any other cruise director a message. Or you can write each other messages and they'll read them on the wake show maybe. One to me uh, from Janet and Gareth. Um, you, sir, are doing a good job. The Port Monkeys. Oh, <laughs> you are doing a good job. <laughs> oh, everyone, everyone. We're one big family. We all do it together. It's absolutely amazing. Excellent. Well, there we go. Go and have a fabulous time. Thank you for joining us right here in the dressing room. And, uh, of course, uh, to find out a little bit about us and Straight Point and what's going to be happening around the ship, please do tune in once again tomorrow morning to find out what's going to be happening in and around the ship. From me, Gary, your cruise director. And Santiago. We'll the cruise director. Bye. Just write them out on this paper, put them in the box. Let's go out. Library behind us. Jewelry store, faucets. I suppose this is where they sell Effie. See the sign in there? We'll take a spin through there later. Faucets. This is the Salty Dog Gastro Pub, 530 to 9, and the Wheelhouse Bar. So, it's the Wheelhouse Bar. And this is the gastro pub, I suppose. And it's probably now got one of those $14.99 prefix menus. I don't know. It used to be a la carte. Maybe it's both. Uh, 
they have different bands playing in here, different kinds of entertainment. Last night it was a jazz band, I want to say. Like I said, we're near Icy Street Point. And that is it. Well, this is on the other side of it. Oh no, this is it. We're backing into the dock now because there's the uh, zip line. You can see up on the hill there. We'll go out in a minute. Because Promenade Deck 7, where we are, is the deck where you go out. Outside. We're going to first take a quick spin through the theater. So, this is the theater from Deck 7. And they're, most of the lights are off and they're playing Salisbury Hill by Peter Gabriel. But, it, ni nice sight lines. Nice sight lines. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise as we welcome Hank Thompson! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Did y'all, y'all okay? It was a lot, right? <laughs> Y'all like, my knee is bothering me, why are we standing? How y'all doing? Make some noise for yourself. Let me hear you one time. I do one impression. You want to see an impression? This is my impression of Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. <laughs> but we have a saying in show business. It doesn't matter what you've accomplished. You haven't really made it until you've played the Princess Theater on deck six and seven behind the casino somewhere off the coast of Vancouver. The theater's there, and if you are in a scooter or wheelchair or whatever, there's a ramp. See that? Which would bring you down to the elevators. Otherwise, you're going to walk up those stairs and back down them. So, and tonight is Disco Blame It on the Boogie. That's a production show, which I believe I've seen. And these big murals. And this is outside the wheelhouse bar. Um, this is the captain's circle desk. Future crews and loyalty drop box. But I asked somebody sitting at that desk, are you captain circle? And they said yes. I don't know how well you know Icy Straight Point. Well, we'll talk about it later. But that's the entrance to Glacier Bay up there. Wheelhouse bar right there. We uh, are back out into the piazza, as you can see. And that was faucets right there. And this is Essence. And guess what they sell? Guess. That's right, perfume. But they're joined together. You understand it's one long store so now we're gonna go all the way to the back of the ship because deck 7 is where you can first go all the way to the back of the ship here's the midship stairs that we've been coming up here's more of these plaques and remember we started in the Explorers Lounge well this is it from the entrance side we'll call it from the Deck 7 side. And this is the uh, Explorers Club bar. And they play trivia in there and they play the game shows in there. Um, I like Explorers. Club Fusion, it's, it's hard to see sometimes in Club Fusion, which is where we're headed. This is the photo and video area. 
And these panels ev eventually will open up and there'll be photos on them. They still do the old school photos. And they have stuff you can buy, accessories, binoculars, GoPros, GoPro, GoPro. This is the photo video area with all the photos. Um, it's not quite the last day of the cruise, but you can see what I meant. They're all out there, for the whole world to see. This is the Crown Grill, and I think they do sweet breakfast in here too, or a breakfast in here, but I guess we can walk through. So, till somebody says no, <laughs> right? Boosty chair. They must sanitize them when they get used. So it's pretty good size. We have no plans to eat here on this cruise. Not that we're not going to, but we have no plans to. That's a weird looking thing. Hey, King Arthur. And uh, Pepper. That's a real pepper. <laughs> I thought it was like a duck thing. <laughs> yeah, let's go out of, out of here. I forgot to look for ducks. Normally, when I do these ship tours, I find a duck, believe it or not. Let's look. Okay, no ducks. So, and we're still in the photo area. These are the panels that open up. Oh all down here it's a huge area on this ship and more stuff you can buy in case you didn't bring enough or buy enough yet hero 11 of course the 12 came out last week and that brings us to club fusion but first we're going to go downstairs to the botticelli dining room and they will be serving breakfast down there. Botticelli dining room. And they're getting busy because it's after seven now. Hello. Hi. Wow. Everybody wants some. So, luckily, uh, everybody eating is all the passengers are there. Uh, and you cannot go out that way, you go out in the middle the way we came in right and a couple of the princess ships have this deal where the bathroom is right there four, four, please. so let's go out remember we're midship right now in the botticelli dining room on deck six let's go up okay thank you very much i want to know your uh, youtube youtube uh, channel sir port port like we're in port yes sir monkeys <laughs> Yeah, I, well, no, it's two. All right. We're back up on Promenade Deck 7. We're now on the port side, the left side, and we're going to go in Club Fusion. And this is what I meant. You know, I mean, if you're sitting on one of these stools, I guess you could see down there. They do a lot of trivia here and disco and karaoke. And, and it's weird that this is the only place on the ship right now that's not playing music. I hear music, but so sometimes there's a live band here. Seats a lot of people. We're going to have the Captain Circle party here, I imagine, in a couple of days. That's a good time to get free drinks if you don't have the drink package, because they'll give you anything you ask for, I think, without charge. And we have circled back around the back of the ship, and now we're heading forward on the starboard side. There's the photo of place so we're gonna go outside so we're in the back of the ship on deck seven on the starboard side okay and I was about to say on most ships this is a smoking area and on this ship it is too and they seem to be going counterclockwise so I'm gonna join them we're gonna take a quick spin around the ship since this is an older ship you can go all the way around some of the older ships we've been on recently, though, they had a, you know, all the way around roped off, forward and aft. And so you could just walk along here, back and forth. But this ship doesn't. 
maybe because we're in Alaska and people want to look on all sides. We walked the length of the ship on the starboard side. If I went in these doors right here, I would be at the Princess Theater right there. Oh, almost went down. But we're going to head forward more on the outside. And there's several Princess ships in the fleet where to go all the way around, you need to go upstairs. So we're on deck seven. We're going to go up those stairs to deck eight, cross the front of the ship, and then go back down to deck seven on the other side, and then go to the back of the ship. So I came up the stairs, and now we're getting around to the front of the ship there, see? Like I was saying earlier, over there is the entrance to Glacier Bay somewhere in those clouds and this is how the weather's been it's not raining right now but it's rained for the last two days and the seas last night got really rough now this is crew area so this is the internet crew cafe i guess or crew internet cafe so here's the very front of the ship and i'm just going to go right here hi hello and uh today? i'm fabulous how are you and i'm really dark but i'm also the king of the world Okay. Yes, and you could be too. So, this is Icy Strait Point. And normally we go to that dock. This is the new dock. And um, so I've never been down here because I've always gotten off a ship and crossed that bridge or dock and then gone into town. Now we're over on the port side. And there's the dock. And you can't get off yet. They're still trying to tie up. Like I said, they added this dock a few years ago so they could hold two big ships at once. Um, if I didn't say it, I just did. And there's the zip rider coming down the mountain. Uh, it used to be the longest, tallest, fastest, but I think somebody built one longer, taller, or faster. Yeah, there's always one person, right? Tour boats waiting for us. And a little village here. So I've never been to that little village. And then back down. Let me just talk to you while we walk down promenade deck seven on the port side in the port of Icy Strait Point. The town's called Huna though. I mean, Icy Strait Point, it's just a, a place, a point of land, right? On this ship, as on most princess ships, no matter the size, deck seven is like the top deck with passenger stuff to do and then on this ship 8 through 14 are passenger cabins exclusively except for laundromats self-serve laundries right three dollars to wash three dollars to dry so we're not gonna walk deck 8 deck 9 10 11 there is no deck 13 on princess okay real caribbean has it or they used to. But there's no Deck 13 on Princess or Carnival or Holland America. They're all Carnival ships. So some people use this as a jogging track. Up on 19, there's a little jogging track that goes around the golf course, the greens. That's a Crown Grill in there. Remember, there's the kitchen. So they have these little nylon ropes. I'm, I'm assuming they're nylon. And, and they use them to drag the big, thick ropes which now see they have. Well, there's one or two right there, right? And tie us up. Those are pretty slack though, so. Like I say, our port time is 8 a.m. and it's only 7.30. Here's Club Fusion. And we are approaching the back of the ship. And they're always like solid metal, except there'll be a hole in the very back for us to look out. See? Well, more than a hole. So there it is. That's deck five, six, and seven. Let's go up 14. And if your cabin happens to be on Riviera deck 14, this is something you should know. The buffet is one deck above me. 
Lido Deck 15. But if you walk aft, like we're doing, and we're on the starboard side, but it's, it's also on the port side, there's a door here to go out. Um, now we're on like deck 14 and a half. Don't call it 13. But there's deck 15. Oh, it wouldn't be 13 anyway. 13 would be below if there were one. <laughs> so there's like deck 14 and a half. There's a pool it's called the Terrace Pool. And people always want to know how deep it is. 5.3 inches, 1.6 meters. And I go up some more stairs. And this is the outrigger bar. You can go up, and people are already staking the chairs out on both sides. Now up there is um, Adagio and Sabatini's, and above that is the kids area. And above that is Skywalker's. And above that, <laughs> well, we're gonna get there, but it's Princess Green's. We're at the very back of the ship on Lido Deck 15. And this is called Cafe Carib on both sides. It's part of the buffet, and when you go forward, it becomes Horizon Court. I don't know the reason for the name change, but it has one. And I'm gonna run through here, show you a little sample of food. Can you see that? Look at those croissants, they're striped. Got some milk, oh, blueberry smoothie. Tapioca, oh, some green stuff. Apples, parsley, spinach, and celery. Somebody asked recently what was in there. Corned beef hash, biscuits and gravy, potatoes. Somewhere around here, you can order uh, an omelet. Here's some yogurt and cereal. Sausage, bacon, now that's American bacon, pancakes, tomatoes, fruit. Somebody following me. And now we've crossed over to the port side, the back of the ship, outside the terrace pool. Of course, they have these coffee stations. There's one around the bin there. I just wanted to show you that we're in the aft stairs and elevators. And there's a bathroom here, and there's a bathroom on the other side. Men's on this side. So let's go forward. Now we're in Horizon Court Buffet. Um, it's same food. Uh, this will have a better selection. The one in the back, see, like there wasn't salad back there. Uh, these other things, you'll notice there were lots of. They have a uh, meat and cheese. They have oatmeal and raisins. And it's getting crowded because people are getting excited to get off the ship. We've had two days at sea now. Two rough days at sea. Uh, <laughs> dinner was an experience. Nothing fell over that I know of. Hi. So now we're out to the Calypso pool. And it's open. It was closed all day yesterday. And this is the Calypso bar. And there's the pool, and it looks like it's 7 feet 1 inch, or 2.1 meters at its deepest. Now that's the deepest pool I've seen recently on the ship. Uh, it is tile out here, and it is slippery sometimes. Hot tub, hot tub. People already in that one. Like they were in the pool. Of course, towels. And you can get out here on either side of the buffet. Right? Um, these doors, number one, are automatic. And if they don't go automatic, there's a push button. But this leads you to the midship stairs and elevators. And if we continue on, we're, we're in the center, port starboard. This is Neptune's Reef and Pool. 
The buffet's down there, aft. This is Slice Pizzeria, free pizza, included pizza, complimentary pizza. And coffee and cones this is where you get your uh, free ice cream, your to pay for specialty desserts, juices, and coffees. All packed into one. So we are on the port side, the left side of deck 15. I'm going to cross over to starboard, the right side. Briefly show you something over here. And that's a, an ocean front here. And sometimes they bring racks of clothes out here and have a sail. But, and then the buffet is that way. Um, this says a depth of five feet, two inches, or 1.6 meters. Still going forward. So that's the mix bar, and that's the salty dog. Complimentary, not complimentary. Up there is a smoking area on deck 16. And then there's some decks up higher. We're gonna go in here though. But I'm gonna cross back Those over. Hamburgers and hot dogs and chicken sandwich, uh, fries, uh, all complimentary. North Carolina barbecue pulled pork. So we're going to go inside here. People turned around so they could be in the video. Hi. So there's cabins up here. Deck 15 forward. The front of the ship is straight ahead. This is the forward elevators and stairs. So on deck 15 there is no more that we didn't see. Oh, except the uh, spa. The, Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The upper part of the spa. So we're near the front of the ship. Let's go up. So this is deck 16, sun deck 16. And this is Hearts and Minds, the uh, chapel, you might say. We have a piano. And that's about it. This is the port side. Lotus Spa. And the fitness center is this way too. So the spa is quite extensive. Beauty salon. <laughs> People working. On our cruise, this pool has been covered non-stop. So this is the Lotus pool and spa. There's people in the spa, but the Lotus pool has been empty the whole cruise. But this is not a pay for thing. This Anyone can go out here. Uh, on most ships, there's a sanctuary, it's adults only. But there's usually a sign right here. Let's go to the fitness center. Free weights. Not very many people in here this morning. Lots of weight machines, towels, sanitary wipes. Oh, right there. Big room where they do classes, treadmills. It goes around to that, that side. So that's the fitness center. Lotus Spa entrance. We're going to go outside here. You can walk when they have it open and they have it closed all the way around the front of the ship here. Not today. So it's been a little windy, cold. That's why I'm wearing my sweatshirt now. This is the Trade Winds Bar. Trade Winds Bar and over there is a smoking area. Okay. So back to the port. We're going to Walk along here, there's Neptune's Reef and Pool. Not closed. Well, yeah, it's closed. Got a net over it. This hot tubs aren't. This is Movies Under the Stars. And that's the screen they show them on. And there's chairs. And chairs would be lined up here and there 
and way up here. So it's um, one, two, three, at least three, four levels of lounge chairs. And Calypso Reef and Pool. Let's go back down. Heading aft. There's another sign here. Heading aft on the port side. And if you see what I see, we're going to be blocked back here. So there's only so far we can get. That Skywalker's up there in a lounge. And that's the mats for the put on the chairs for the movies under the stars. And so there's a stairway up. And there's a door. And I think it's locked. Stars can't get around that way. So we're going to go all the way around on this deck to the starboard side. The stars. We are still on Sun Deck 16, heading aft on the starboard side. And later, you know, they have chairs to put out here. Not sure if today they will, <laughs> but this is Victoria. Well, you can't see it now. And it's 9.20 already. It's cold, it was raining. So here's another stairway, just like on the other side. And we'll go up there. But then we're gonna come back down here. And there's another one. And it leads all the way up into there, which is the sports court. It's also a door leading in. But we are on deck 17 now. And you should know that there's hot tubs here, big ones. And there. And I like a little pool. And if we come over here, you can see the terrace pool down on 14. There's Victoria. A celebrity ship is in port. Let's cross over here. Oh, it's got water in it. And this, I believe, is the kids' outdoor area. Of course, there isn't any equipment out here, so there's nothing to see. But inside these doors, windows, is the kids' area. Let's go back. Be inside. And so this is Port Stick 17. And like I say, these are the kids' areas, right? And there are no windows on them or anything. The lodge, ages 8 to 12. Well, this one has one. I'm not going to go in there. Because I don't have any kids. Of course, there aren't any kids in there. But you can see inside. And Camp Discovery, the treehouse, ages 3 to 7. Over there was the beach house, that's for teenagers. That's all there is back here, so let's Sky go Sky deck 18. And there's still, you notice the stairs don't go up any further here. Elevators. There's somebody having a meeting here. But this is Skywalker's Lounge. And it goes all the way across the ship. All the way across. And in the evenings, if you're platinum or elite, they set up some hors d'oeuvres here. See that floor? On this ship, the entire cruise, these outside doors have been sort of roped off. Now, I could have come up that stairway. It wasn't roped off. So, and the door's not locked. So I think somebody just forgot about them. Anyway. Let's go back out. There's Skywalker's nightclub. It's hard to read. And there's Platinum Studio. So let's go up. And Princess Lynx is this way. 
fact, that's it right there. And this is the Platinum Studio, where you get your fancy portraits taken for money. Let's go out here. And this, you might say, is the top of the ship. There are no decks above this. Well, there may be decks above this, but passengers don't go on them. You see that? And this is kind of a cool golf course. Um, on our particular cruise, Alaska cruise, it's rained almost nonstop. I mean, this is one of the first clear days, and it's it was raining. But here it is. Now, if I go forward a little bit outside the wall, then I have the sports court, and it's set up for pickleball, I'm guessing. But you see the goal for soccer and a basketball hoop. Whoop. So and you get back in here, center court, it's called. And so I was on deck. I mean starboard side I'm crossing over to port same thing and remember when we hit a dead end there we'll have it closed so if we'd gone up those stairs we wouldn't have got anywhere I mean if that bungee kept me out over on the other side I don't know Oh, it's got a really, this is like they put on the balconies, right? Um, so I mentioned going up the outside stairs, and that's locked too. So, so I'm glad we didn't go up there. We were down there just a moment ago. Let's go back in and head forward. There's center court. Um, this is the jogging track I'm on, and, and 16 times around equals a mile, or 1.6 kilometers. And they also have cornhole here. Um, I'm going to guess golf clubs and whatnot are in there. Uh, croquet. No golf clubs. Ooh. So, we're going to go back down and go forward, because there's a little bit we need to do forward. So, Star Deck 19, top of the ship, Princess Lynx. So, we were on Deck 19. This is Sun Deck 16. I went back down the stairs to it. And this is Sabatini's and Adagio. So, Sabatini's is the Italian Trattoria, Italian restaurant, $35 cover charge. We ate here a couple nights ago for our anniversary. It was excellent. I I think sweets maybe eat breakfast in here or something. This is the whole place though, right? And then next door is a Daggio, which is a bar. And there's somebody in here too. So as you can see, you can come here in the morning, afternoon, and just hang out with some peace and quiet, right? Just sleep on the couch. Because your bed is uncomfortable? I don't know. Anyway, let's go back out. Sun Deck 16, you see this? Way out to deck and restrooms. So there's restrooms here. And you can get outside. Here's the guys, the gents. And this door is propped open for some reason. So forward. Reef and pool. We're on deck 16. Deck 15 down below. I'm gonna take you up here first. And then I guess this would be deck 18. Up these stairs. And there's nothing up here but chairs. If they even have chairs. And see, they don't even have chairs up here now. Remember, Princess Lynx was on 19. Let's go down. So we were up there. Now we're back on Sports Deck 17. And on many ships, Princess ships, they call this area the retreat. 
and there'd be a retreat pool. We're headed to the sanctuary. Now the sanctuary, sanctuary, is a place where you pay to, to sit. You pay to hang out. See, it's got these chairs. And it's normally $20 for half a day, 40 for all day. So there's the lotus pool, empty and covered. And this is a big sanctuary. Now it's covered, but it's not waterproof, right? But it's a little shadier than most places. I'm not sure what these are, but maybe cabanas, because I only see those, and those are the massage ones. Or maybe they're the pads for the chairs. So that's the sanctuary. $20 a half day, $40 for all day. I've never done it. I'm going to say goodbye from the Crown Princess. It's a, it's a nice ship. I think it needs a little refurbishment though. But I enjoyed my time here. The, the staff is very, very good. Very friendly. Very nice. Made some friends. Hopefully no enemies. <laughs> but uh, it's time to say goodbye from the Crown Princess. And I'll see you in the next port. Bye. Port Monkey's out. That's what we used to say.